Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Copperhead Customs and a new episode on... Of course, we're on the 39 Bedford and we're going to see a few more of these because uh, we are coming to a completion. So we are just pumping these out as quick as we can. If you're new to the channel, go down there. There's 25 or 26 other episodes on this. We found this in a paddock. We'll go... And, and you would have just seen a picture of what it was and look at it now it's getting damn damn close so those who have been following the build will know what's going on so uh last episode we completed the tray com fully completed all bolted down we are not meant to show you that just yet uh you've seen the last few of the interior has been done we'll put some light on in there later we've done the bonnet we've done heaps of stuff lately we've been absolutely flying along all the cab the we're halfway through the cab mounts. We've done the rear one. The front ones are fab. They're out there on the bench right there. Uh, so yesterday, I went to the bolt shop. And now I've lost where I put the bolts. And I only just had them. Do you guys get that? Or is it just me? I'll just keep losing everything and everything in my workshop. And on that note, we were driving my... Uh, my wife's Mercedes, ML Mercedes, yeah, ML 350, that's our tow car. Uh, it was mine, and I gave it to my wife for Christmas as a present, because she adores that car. So, I did the, uh, there's a video uh, a few months back where I did some maintenance on it. I did the front and rear brakes, some new shocks in it, and whatever and what have you. And, uh... I noticed when I finished and the car tested it, the brakes were all good, but I noticed that I came in the shed and there was a clip on the ground off the brakes that I'd forgot to put in, but uh, it was like, oh, well, it's okay. It's not affecting anything. But the other night when we, when I drove it, we had the window down and I heard a little tiny, little tiny rattle when you went over the bumps. And I was like, here we go, what's wrong with it? And then when I put my foot on the brake and went over the bumps, it wasn't there. And I went, oh, it's that bloody clip I forgot. Yeah? So then I went, I don't know where I've put it. I know I put that clip somewhere safe. God knows where I've put the clip. It's in the shed somewhere. So for three days I've been looking for the clip. In the special safe spot that I put it. Well, lo and behold, I actually did the right thing. I actually put it in a bag, wrote down what it was, and put it in on the welding bench right in front of my eyes. So that I could reinstall that at a later date. <laughs> so I spent three days looking for it and it was sitting where I would never look <laughs> in my safe place that I would find. Which area yeah, I'd never look, which is sitting right there in front of me. So anyway, now I've done that with the bolts. And I thought I'd just seen them. Here we go. Here's our bolts. Our nuts. Sorry, our nuts. So there's our nuts for our... Our two body mounts. Well, you got a lot of nuts there for two. Yes, because someone forgot to take the nut that fits with him. Yes, and we live 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes to town. Yeah, so I just had to buy a couple of different ones. Now I've come home and I can't even find the existing one of them. So... I don't know if it's me getting old, COVID, what it is, but we have issues finding stuff. <laughs> oh, it's just my shop's a mess. <laughs> One of the two. Anyway, there's some rambling. What are we going to do in this episode? The plan is, well, while I'm rabbiting, I'll show you something else that we did. So yesterday, I didn't work on the car. Me and old mate went for a bushwalk. And what did we do? Well, we went... If you remember, in the last episode, I said I was, we were going to go and look for some, on our properties, look for some uh, wild boar skulls. Well, we didn't find a wild boar skull, but what we did find was that. That's right, we found a ram head with horns. Hey, what do we, so what do we think? So what my plan today, one of my jobs is, that's just sitting on the hook. We've got to make sure that hook doesn't come out. And what I've grabbed is, I've gone and grabbed a bit of barbed wire couple of pieces I've cut a couple of pieces up 
So we're going to bend the barbed wire around the skull, have it wrapped around and through the skull and around the post. And so the skull's anchored and the hook's definitely ain't going to, because that hook, the other hook's in really good. This one, because it was aluminium, I couldn't drive it in very good into the hardwood. So yeah, we're going to just tie everything up with barbed wire. Drop your comments, what you think of the ram's skull on the back. I think it kind of goes with the theme. As you remember, we got the hooks to hang stuff and we got our whacking stick and I think it kind of goes with our theme. Tell me what you reckon about that. If we should keep that or if it's gross or whatever. A few people have already said they like the idea. So there we go. I think, that, I think that's pretty cool. It actually looked good on the bonnet, but we're not doing that because it's not a dodge, it's a Bedford. Anyway, what else are we are going to do? Well, we're going to try those nuts on our... We're going to try to clean those threads up. The front threads were damaged. So we're going to try to clean the threads up, see if we can get those nuts to work. Then we'll weld those body mounts on. Uh, I'd like to look at painting the wheels, maybe. And we'll see how we go. We we'll have, might have a little look at the front brakes, so we can get this into a roller. I'm taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take a new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half nuts You are not as tough as <laughs>
Boom, all right, welcome back. Right, so, what did we do? We had to do a little bit off camera because uh, it was just a bit of a painful little session, that one. But uh, also, uh, the camera does not like it when I weld, when it's on hyperlapse. So sometimes you may have seen in previous footages where things get repeated. Well, that's that's when the camera I uh, weld and it's too close on hyperlapse, it wigs it out and you go in and try to cut pieces out to speed it up so you're not so bored and for you and it it goes all stupid. But anyway, so uh, what it does is it sends it into, it just wigs it out. So I say a one hour of me working might be one minute of hyper or of uh, time lapse. Say, uh, and when I when I weld on hyperlapse on on time lapse, uh, it basically flicks it to normal time, and then it will have a five second speed time, and then it will go yeah. So it just totally freaks it out. So. Uh, there's a little bit of footage of me welding and then I basically there's a bit where I've stopped the camera and then basically I have to move the camera way way away from the welding so that's why you'll see the cameras in some stupid positions but anyway bit of rambling what we did was there's our goat skull that we we're putting on barbed wide up I reckon that looks alright what do you guys think drop some comments on what you think of that Okay, that's pretty cool looking. Anyway, what else did we do? We got those front cab mounts on, welded. I uh, did vertical ups for those of you who know about welding. Um, yep, so they've been well, uh, done with vertical ups. So they're nice and strong. They're not going to snap. So yeah, both of them are on. We actually raised the cab. If you see me, I had jacks and jack stands and crap going everywhere. So what I've done is, if you can see it in there, and if you can see this piece here, well, that's, that was touching the chassis, so I've actually jacked the cab up a little bit, welded our mount in, then let the cab come back down. So we've got a tiny little, like, three or four mil gap onto the chassis, which is a perfection. So, yes, they are uh, both on now. All three, those two and the one at the back we did the other day, are all, uh, all bolted in. So the cab mount's finitoed, right? Uh, and I just threw... Sorry about that light there. We'll go around the other side so you can see better. The running board mounts uh, weren't fully welded, so I just quickly buzzed, uh, welded them up. So that's what we've achieved so far. Uh, and we've jacked the car up, obviously. You can see we've lowered the car off the rear jack stands. Um, and we've... Uh, I've got to move that light, eh? We'll move that light because that's it's quite painful. Let's push this kick it in there. There we go. Right, so yes, as I was saying, we uh, took the car off the rear jack stands, so I could get under the front a bit better. But uh, we've got to look at these guards. I'm going to trim them. So if you see, I actually had these. I've got another set of holes already pre-drilled. I already had them done. So we'll change that snail into those holes and have a fit up, which what that will do is that will actually raise the front of the guard up a tiny bit. So what I'd like is I'd like the top of the guard basically sitting like level with that, that should give us enough clearance. Now they were a little bit uneven, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this side here, as you can see here, we've got a, uh, oh, what would you say? One inch maybe, yeah, one inch there. And underneath, oh, what have I got? Probably got two fingers. Yeah, two, two and a half fingers. So we've probably got that much clearance underneath. Now, I don't think that... I think when I bounce on this, it pretty much still bottoms out. But we'll see. This side we may get away with by tweaking the mounts. But, oh, yeah, I think I have to drill a hole in this side and just pop this side up a little bit as well. And we'll do that on the other side. So we'll get the top of this close-ish to the top of that, I would say. would be perfect. I want to keep it as low as possible because it makes it look... Lower, see, I don't want a big stinking gap here, but I want it to travel. So, as you can see, I've got it up on bricks on the bottom to replicate the bricks there because there's no bricks here. Uh, so, if you put a brick there, we don't have much of a gap at the front of our guard. So, 
what I'm rambling on about is the plan is we're going to cut the square section off on the front at least. Not sure about the back yet, but perhaps on the back as well. We'll cut that, and I'll probably just uh, we'll cut that along that line, and I'll probably just I'll probably just round the corner a little bit. That's what I'm thinking, and we'll see how we go for clearance. And then these will just when we're happy with where the guards sit, which I'm going to leave that one to start with, I'd say. But we'll do this, move this this hole. We don't know. We'll have to have a look. I'll see what I see what we do. We've got to get them even, but yeah, this definitely has to come off. But we you may find we have to. Uh, even come up a little bit more. So we need to have at least 100 mil of clearance off the ground. Okay, that's the rules over here, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, so we'll give them a quick trim in a minute. And I think we'll throw our running boards back on and we'll bolt them down. That's what we'll do. And then, 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 then I think we're going to paint those rims, the two front rims that are out there. So uh, whether I'm going to break the bead or not, I don't know if I can be bothered. I think I'll just mask them up. We'll see. I'll let the tyres down and see. Uh, now, these is uh, what I've got is I've just got a couple of um, cheap, cheap brand pressure packs that we're going to use. Now, that's very similar to the colour. Um, I went to the paint shop even though I've got my own, but I went to the paint shop to get him to use his scanner on the rear wheels and it was giving us a bit of a weird reading and he's a bit of a moody bloke, so I ended up, I told him where he could stick his fist, <laughs> if that makes any sense, pretty much. And uh, yeah, so he's just missed out on someone who spent a lot of money there and I won't spend another cent there as long as I live. But anyway, that's another story. So, because it was all too hard. It was all too hard for him, and that's what he does for a job, so whatever. So anyway, what I did is I just grabbed the cheap brand, which is almost identical to the rear rims anyway. But what I'm rambling on about is I can go mix my own colour, and I can colour match it myself, okay, by messing around, tweaking, tweaking the colours. So I've got a full paint system here, right? We've got a full paint system, okay? Uh... So I can stuff around doing that, it won't take me a little while. Or I just repaint the rear rims. But before we get too carried away doing all that, and because if I do that, then I'll paint them and I'll clear them and whatever, whatever you. Uh, first, one, I want to be happy that, uh, that I'm happy with the grey rims, that I don't want to go a different colour, is one. And two, uh, I may just powder coat them, because there's something else you probably don't know, is I know how to powder coat. I've got a full powder coat system. Uh, it's in the back shed the oven and the powder coat gun and all that malarkey. So, uh, we don't have any grey powder coat though. We've only got black and purple. But, so we're not going to do them purple, obviously. Uh, so yes, I think if I'm going to stick with the grey, that I'll probably buy get some grey powder coat in and, um, and I think we'll powder coat the rim. So that's why I'm just going to do them in that silver it's very close and uh, that will do to start with and we'll see whether we like the rims that color or not and if we do decide we like the rims that color like I said then we'll buy some powder coat and we'll powder coat them and that will be a different video later on down the track and powder coating is actually very easy guys I don't know it's quite messy but very easy so uh, yeah it's actually very very easy and I could actually show you you know you can set your own little system up for a couple hundred bucks seriously but anyway, that will be another, that's in the future. You have to keep watching for that. So, what are we doing? Like I said, we're going to do, we'll bolt them down, we'll trim them down, we'll look at painting them. Uh, I'm also going to, maybe, we'll see how we go for time. I'm going to have lunch in a second, but we may look at, uh, we've got our air cleaner in. We've got our air cleaner in here. So, and this is what we're going to, do now we haven't got our we're getting a spike we're, we're still waiting on the spike to come so i don't know if i can finish it or not but we're going to see have a look about about getting that doing something with that trying to get that to work all right we might have a little fiddle with that as well today all right i'm gonna have lunch and i'll be back in a minados ripa
stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away But I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life every day, late at night Not okay, all I want and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a 
rock in a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone So, what have we done, what have we done, what have we done? We have done lots Alright, we got the running boards. Uh, running boards are finished. Other than we just want to paint our uh, bolt heads. What we got to, we've got a few bolt heads we've got to go around and paint. But they are all bolted down, drilled, bolted down. All the, uh, the brackets are welded, screwed up into the main post, screwed into the bracket. And uh, our little treads, we just put bolts on our treads, even though the treads were... We're fine. So, running boards finished basically. Tray finished. Uh, we've raised. What do we do here? We raised this side up on the bolts and got the top here nice and level where we wanted it. We've got the other side done as well. Uh, this side we didn't have to drill, we just had to move it. And then we've cut the bottom. We've cut that square piece off the bottom and rounded it around a little bit on the side there. Looking beautiful. Now we haven't cut the back yet because what we'll do is we'll wait until the car's back down, leveled out, and then we'll get proper measurements and see exactly that may need to be trimmed a bit more at the front and we now need to trim the back, but we'll see how we go. We now have, now this is with, basically the suspension's fully off now here and I've got my fist under there nearly. So I've got like a three or four inches under there. So we've got nice clearance, uh, plenty of clearance, in fact. And the same on this side. We haven't actually uh, done up our bolts on the snails yet. And then we did a little notch out here. As you can see there, we did a little notch because this will sit bang up in there. We had to do a little tiny notch in the suspension as well. So we can get them nice and hard up onto our, onto our uh, tray. And they cover the wheels so i think i think that looks pretty cool now we've got a little bit of a gap there but remembering the car is off the ground and there is a still weight off of this so where our things are up there, there, there this isn't fully loaded up on the back so they will drop a little bit once the car is on the ground so we've got that done we've got the treads done there you and then we painted the front wheels but i'm not happy with them the color's off Colours way too far off. Uh, so yeah, to me the colours, I think the colours too far off. Now this is, like I said, basically just a temp fix. I do, as you see, we wire brushed them to get the paint off, but there's chrome flaking and stuff, so these rims need to be sandblasted. Now I won't actually sandblast these ones. I do have another set of fronts, identical, that I'll send off and get sandblasted. And then... By well, then I'll just just uh, I should decide what I want to do whether I'll try to match that paint, which I probably won't. I'll probably just paint all four now. So yeah, then I'll decide if we're happy with grey, if we paint or we powder coat. But uh, I think the colour's too far gone, too far different. I think. But yeah, like I said, this was sort of a temporary because yeah, we need to actually realistically we need to uh, sandblast these sandblast the front rims to get the flaking chrome that was underneath off. Uh, so yeah, that's just a temporary visual, more of a visual thing for myself, really. And we set the, uh, the little wide brush on the drill and we hit the lettering up and come up absolutely mint, I thought. So yeah, here's the other one. Uh, we did the center cap black because the backs don't have center caps and they have, uh, well, let's go look. Let's go look, then you'll see what I'm freaking talking about. The back ones don't have center caps. And you can see the black centre of the axle, yes? So, what I thought was we'd paint the caps in the front black. So, yeah, that's what I've done that for. So, you know, they're okay, but, yeah, I just, the colour's too far out, I think. It, it could have been a shade or two out and you wouldn't have picked it, but um, it's pretty hard to show you. But, yeah, you can see there, you can see we are way, way out, way out. So, what I did do... To try to dull, these are even brighter. I actually dusted black, light dust black over the top to try to, but yeah, it's just way too. This is more like a chromey silver, as that's more of a grey. So, um, 
Yeah, and I like the grey. I don't like the silver. I don't think. I think I like the grey. So, yeah, we'll probably just. I'll probably just mix some grey paint up, and do all and do all of them. I think. Yeah. Do that again. So, where are we at now? What are we at now? I don't know. We've done a lot today. We've got. Oh, we'll soon today. We got the body mount. The body's all mounted. So I think we would have called in and would have seen that already. Yeah, the body's all mounted now. Done up, bolted. Uh, we are getting close. So basically, we are nearly at a completed looking car. There's not much else to bolt and stuff down. Uh, a few more things to, you know, couple. We've got to bolt the blinkers in. I want to actually run a couple of bolts up through the front end. And I want to make a couple of little packers. Um, yeah, we're very close now, buyers very close. So now we're under, we've got brakes, we've got to rebuild the carby, we've got to get the motor running and wired and plumbed, transmission plumbed, uh, and the electrical done. So, well, we're very, very close. All right, we'll go. And, uh, drop your comments down, what you're thinking. Of her, we need to come up with a name. We need to come up for a name. Someone drop some comments of what we should call her. Him. Him. We don't call them hers. We call them hims. We don't like them hers because hers are temperamental. So we always call our cars him. All right? Trust me. We had a female race car once and I nearly killed myself in it. And then every race car was then called a man's name. And I've nearly killed myself in a few more of them. But anyway, that's another story. All right. There it is. Fair bit of rabbiting on this one, wasn't there? But what we'll do is... Rip up.